Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to our main progress video. So we're going to start this one off by looting an Araxor corpse. So let's see what this one is. I'm calling... Uh, dude, that leg piece would be awesome. Let's get it. Never mind. Overloads is not too bad though. I think this is decent. I'm going to bank that. Alright, let's see if we can get our leg piece on this kill, the second one. So we do not, but we get some water talismans. I honestly can't remember what their worth is, but also isn't overloads like kind of rare? I mean, I don't really usually get it, but I seem to be getting them now, so that's cool, I guess. The third and the final kill of the trip, let's see what this one gives us, and we get- Wow, that's actually the worst Araxor drop I've ever got, I think. Actually, I think Dwarf Weed Seed is like the absolute worst you can get because they've plummeted in price so much. This is not even any charms. This is absolutely a pet chance. Let's go for this. Let's see what we can roll. It's going to roll 72. Alright, that was pretty far from 72. If you haven't done Telos before, the loot's on 0% and rage on the boss is not that great. But the further you get into his enrage, the better the loot is going to be. So I think it's really good that even if, for example, yesterday you got to 100% on rage, and then the day after it would reset. But you can actually, when you start the fight, choose to start from the enrage you actually got to last time. Or not last time, but your maximum enrage. So if you got once to 800% enrage, then you can start from that point every single time and that's awesome because at 800% in rage the boss will give you amazing loot and you can always start from that point if you want to so anyways i'm going to do a couple of tells kills i'm going to start on 20% in rage so let's do this all right there we go that is the first kill on 20% in rage i'm not very good at this honestly and i don't even have dread nips so i think that actually kind of makes it a lot harder i don't know though but if you guys know something about telos then please let me know anyways i'm going to claim the reward now and let's see what we get i'm not going to actually claim it though i'm just going to keep it there if it's not some anything good obviously so let's spin it and let's see what we get and we get some water talismans all right so let's see how much that's worth 372k as i said 20 percent enrage is not very good so unlock silver i mean i mean i guess that's like a bit better reward so let's um spin and i don't think you can get less than five so 10 it should be 30 percent enrage now so that's pretty cool i think we're supposed to get a bit slightly bit better reward now so let's do a second kill Alright, second kill incoming on 30% on rage. Let's see if this loot is a bit better than the previous one. Let's uh, claim the loot and do the rolling thing. So let's do the spin. I think this is actually really cool. So we get coins. Alright, so if I get coins that is worth more than 300 and what was it? 73k, then it's actually better with the thing we're doing now. No, we got less than that. So I'll unlock gold at 100%. So it's, is it no different on silver? It's actually worse. Interesting, but anyways, let's continue the challenge and do the spin here and see how much enrage we get. 11, alright, so 41% enrage is going to be the next kill. I don't know how, man, but the 41% enrage kill was so easy. Maybe I was just doing everything good. So let's claim the reward, let's see what this one is. Let's stop spinning. I wonder if you can, like, time this or anything. Coins again! Alright, let's see how much this is. It's going to be hard to see. Alright, it looks like it's pretty much 288k again, so interesting. But let's continue the challenge. Let's stop spinning. Let's get 16. 9, alright. So oh, that's actually 50 exactly. Interesting. Sweet, we're halfway to 100% enrage now that I've done the 50% enrage kill. Uh, and honestly, I don't know if I'm ready for phase 5. Uh, it's going to be something I'm going to have to read into, how it works. Uh, I think I know kind of how it works, but I'm not completely sure yet. But let's see what I get from this one. We get some red dragonites. Man, is this the Samurai Codex? Did I just almost miss... God damn it, man. Let's continue. How many is this? 136. I don't even know how much they're worth each, but... Uh, yeah, they're 500k maybe, I don't know, let's uh, continue the challenge, stop spinning, uh, 13, not too bad, we're getting closer to 100, oh, sweet. The pet chance is 1 in 700, I really feel it this kill, I, I, I call it, I call a pet. That, what the hell, can you actually get like luminosity energies, which is like, isn't that like tier 70 or tier 80? Interesting, anyways, I think this is toad flags. So this is going to be interesting to see because if this is like a lot of herbs, that's going to be cool for my Iron Man in the future. Let's see how many this is actually. 96, that's 96 uh, Saradomi brews actually if you think about it, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, but let's continue the challenge from 63 all the way to 73. Cool, only need 27 more. 
Alright, so this kill is actually going to be 63% and rage loot as well because I died and if you do die once you have to redo the kill you did before. So let's see what I get for this one and let's see if we can get a high re-roll uh, re on the, well, roll overall on the enrage I guess. So let's see what I get from this one. We get some dragon ball tips it looks like or ar arrow tips. I don't know what the hell that is honestly, let's see. And also you do lose all the loot if you die so it really sucks, you know. But that's just how it is so... Anyways, it was only like 1.4 mil, so it's not too bad. But it's 63 now, and let's uh, continue the challenge, so let's spin, hopefully you get something good. 9, that's not too good, but anyways, that's like 72, again, I guess. Uh, but I'm not going to do more Tellos now, I feel like I've done enough. And also, the reason why I'm stopping now is because my uh, aura ha has only 11 minutes left, and honestly, the Supreme Runic Accuracy Aura is very, very good here. And I even extended it, so I've been doing Tellos for 2 hours now, and uh, that's... That is going to be it for Tello, so let's get into something else now. I was actually going to do some Twin Furies, but I didn't have a Dragon Rider launch, and my Scythe I sold a long time ago, and I don't have money to buy it back again. But look at this, if I put 5% more, so I buy it for 5% over the normal price, and I try to buy it, it doesn't buy, and I've had it in for like 20 minutes, nothing has happened. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to do Vindicta instead, because if I do get that, it seems to be worth quite a bit right now. I mean, 25 mil for an item, if I do get that, is absolutely amazing. So let's do some Vindicta. And that is going to be it for my Vindicta trips. I have 25 minutes left on my aura, meaning I have been here for 35 minutes, and I have one sip of brew left. I'm going to sip that now so I don't die. Uh, but it hits really hard, like, I, I didn't really realize that Vindicta hits like an absolute truck because I brought mostly prayer potions and stuff like that Because I was like dude, I have vampirism aura and I have soul split. I should easily be able to stay here forever No, the dragon hit me like 4,000 hits with ranged and then 2k with melee in the same hit sometimes It was crazy. It did so much damage to me sometimes, but we did uh, I think 12 kills and let's see what the um, what kind of price check this is. I think it might have been a bit more than 12, maybe 13. Anyways, I also got two coin drops, so that is like 150k. So let's add 150k to this, but that's 1.1 mil, so like 1.3 mil ish. That is not too bad. I want to do some normal God Wars. I want to do either Armadil or Samurak, and the reason to that is because it's pretty good experience as well as the the cash is not too bad. If you get one of those subjugation items or you get an Armadil item like the body or the legs, it's actually not that bad due to invention bringing it up. As well as the buckler, like the buckler and the ward is actually like 2 mil. It's crazy because of the Armadil and the Samurak components. So I actually feel like doing that a bit, but I want to get a Slayer assignment to be able to use the Slayer helmet. And currently, Let's actually have a look at this. I have pretty much no Slayer points whatsoever. So let's see that. I have 18 Slayer points. So I'm actually going to do Slayer until I do get a Great Redeemer task or uh, Avianci task is what it is. And uh, when I get to that point, or obviously I'm going to show you guys if anything cool happens. If I get, you know, an Elite Clue Scroll or something, I'll definitely do that. Or if I get something rare, then I'll show you guys that as well. But I'm going to do as many tasks as it's required to be able to get any of those tasks. I have done a lot of Ice Strike Worm tasks in my life, but I have never got a Triskelion Fragment on any of the tasks. So this has got to be semi-rare at least. I'm going to pick that one up, but it's uh, unfortunately the first one only, so I need two more to be able to get a free Elite Clue Scroll. But it's cool done nonetheless to get a cool beam. Holy shit, Invention has actually made these so valuable. Look at this, I'm going to pick this one up. And I remember back before Invention was released, it was like 150k or even less than that. Look at this. It is currently 1.2 million almost. Holy shit. That is some really awesome shit. Oh my god, this is like the most profitable Ice Strike Worm task I have ever done. I got one rare drop as well of 47 super stores and they, I think that drop was like 250k, let's examine one of these and see how much is that, 5k each, yeah. So, so far I've made like 2.5 mil of one ice strike arm task. This would have been like 400k before they put invention into the game, sweet. Well, good thing I have these Slayer VIP tickets, because my Slayer VIP ticket gave me 269 Greater Demons, so let's do some Samurai. I think I actually have more kill count on my Iron Man on uh, Krill than I do have on my main, so that's actually quite cool. Uh, if I can find it, there we go, let's see if I have... Uh, oh, I don't even have a thousand. I thought I would have over a thousand, but I have 927. During this task, I might hit over 1000, but let's see if we can get anything interesting. 
I just got an effigy and it's actually a pretty good drop. Uh, it, on my Iron Man is not that good compared to my main because on my main I can actually do every single step. Maybe not construction and runecrafting. I think that's the only ones I cannot do. But otherwise I can do pretty much every single step. So that is really good. That's going to be some awesome experience. Probably going to put the final lamp as well on like farming or maybe runecrafting. I think runecrafting. So that's going to be some nice gains. But that is a cool first drop. Hopefully I don't die now. Holy shit. Oh my god, literally the kill after that, I get pet. What the fuck, man? What the fuck just happened? Oh my god, okay, so on my main, I get the pet on kill counts, what is this? Let's see. I get pet on kill count 936. On my Iron Man, I have like 1400 kill counts, still no pet, and I literally just got the gown of the garb. What the hell, man? And also, this is kind of cool because this is my first God Wars, uh, the normal God Wars, God Wars 1, you could say, uh, pet on my main account. Now, on my Iron Man, I do have the Kriara pet, but on this account, I only have this one, so that is actually really cool. I'm going to learn it after I'm done with this trip, and I'll show you guys how it looks if you don't know. Anyways, that is the first trip completed, and I actually did get an elite clue scroll, and I completed it, so I have the casket here. Also, I'm just going to use this lamp on runecrafting and show how much experience I get. 33,000, that's actually pretty good. So, I'll definitely take that, and let's open this casket for the most generic elite clue ever. Also, it's elite clue never 69. Interesting. So, I'm going to reroll this one, and dude, 69 has to be something good, come on. Oh, that's- I know how that looks! Oh my god, no, that is absolutely disgusting. I have that on my Iron Man, looks like shit, look at this. Anyways, this is how the pet looks, and it actually says when you examine it that I have 1197 kill count, but that is because if you look in my chat, if it's big enough on your screen to see it, but it says 229 hard mode kills as well, and I guess it counts that in, because if I would do normal ones, I think I have like 940, 50 maybe, 968 even, so yeah, the, it, it goes really quick for me to get kills there with, you know, tier 90, and you can just AFK with the Penance Aura and the uh, Ectoplasmator and the Demon no necklace. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did like, you know, a video on my main for once, then please let me know. I will make these videos about 10 minutes long with as much bossing content and entertaining stuff as possible. If you guys did like this, then please let me know. If you didn't like it, then please let me know that as well. This is a bit of an experiment, but don't worry. I'm working really hard on my Iron Man. I'm actually at 4,000 sharks in my bank right now. Yeah, I've been doing fishing for like 15 hours, even more than that since the last video and that was yesterday so i've been grinding hard and i'll see you in the next video guys take care